Mr. Mittal, Mr. Modi came to power promising minimum government, maximum governance. But today, he has 78 ministers, which is precisely the same size as Dr. Manmohan Singh's government in May 2009. So what's happened to minimum government? Has the Prime Minister forgotten or has he conveniently changed his mind? Currently, do you realize that the government is not just ministers? Government is one crore plus employees of the central government. The metaphor minimum governance, uh, government, maximum governance relates to the role of government, which is minimize the role of government in the lives of a common man and whatever the role, it should deliver the best governance. So this is the spirit, don't compare that with this. I don't think that's the right this thing. But what is critical is the expansion has been carried out is a very well-rounded expansion. If you look at the can profile I, can of I, can I, can I stop you there, sir? I'll come, I'll come to I mean, all the other is, elements of very, the expansion. Very, yeah. I'll come to all the other elements of the expansion in a moment's time. But because this question of minimum governments, maximum governance has attracted attention, I want to put your answer to Nalani Singh to see whether she's convinced. Are you convinced of the answer you heard that actually minimum government is not just a matter of size, it's to do with reducing the role of government and its influence in your lives? So can I turn uh, in the answer, can I ask you a uh, question uh, also to Mr. Mittal? Uh, if you say to universities what anniversaries you are to celebrate and the central government, the HRD ministry say, is that minimum government? If you say who to invite, if you are actually appointing to uh, the National Institute of Fashion Technology, the chairperson, etc., is that minimum government? So I would say that Whereas Mr. Mittal might be correct in saying that there is a concept which we are missing, for me, it is actually reorientation, fundamental reorientation of the role of government, which I think uh, with, great, uh, with great humility, I must say, that I don't think that's been understood. At least I don't see this in this, uh, in this reshuffle. Babu let me reshuffle. bring you in and get an opposition viewpoint before I go back to Ms. Mittal on that. That catchy slogan of the Prime Minister's, Maximum governance, minimum government had won a lot of applause and praise. And people thought that his first government, which was just 64 ministers, actually lived up to the belief that we were getting minimum government. Now, you've just heard Mr. Mittal reinterpret what minimum government means. He says it's not a matter of size. It's a matter of reducing the role and function and importance of government in the lives of individuals. And I have to put it to you that that's a very credible reinterpretation. But the question is, a, does it work for you? And more importantly, do you believe the role of government has been reduced over the last two years? Or is Mr. Mittal raising a promise only to make it look as if it's unfulfilled? Uh, a short answer to you, Karan. I think this reshuffle is an indication of maximum politics, minimum governance. <laughs> the entire reshuffle is governed by the imperative, especially in the short term of political dividends that may come in the assembly elections that are due in the next few months and a year. As far as governance goes, as you know, this government, I would give it 100 out of 100 in coining catchy slogans. But in terms of implementation, I would give it very poor marks. In fact, whether it's on the index of ease of doing business or consciously reducing the role of government in everyday lives, We've seen very little of it in terms of institutional reform. Whereas the entire canvas of politics has been opened up and we have a jumbo cabinet today where there is a talent deficit and Modi, the politician, has finessed Modi, okay. the administrator. Let me go back to you, Mr. Mittal, before I go to Mr. Singhvi. I'm prepared to accept your redefinition of that catchy slogan that minimum government is not a question of size and numbers, but a question of reducing the role and importance of government in the lives of individuals. It's a very Thatcherite interpretation, but it's acceptable to me. The problem is, where in the last two years have you actually reduced the role of government? Give me two or three examples. First, let's go to the Environment Ministry. This was the biggest b bottleneck 
in development of industry or any development in this country. Everything has been decentralized. The reliance of uh, having clearances from the central government, the Ministry of Environment and Forest, which was known for its uh, ex-minister's tax, is no more. It's passé. It's history. And rightly so, Prakash Javadekar has been rewarded. Okay, number two, what's the second? He has created Give me a second instance. an automated system where you don't have to sit in the darbars yard. Number two, num num number two, number two. There have been major economic reforms in Commerce Ministry. Whatever little license rajas existed, they have again been decentralized at the lowest levels of the officers to take decisions themselves and not to have ministerial control over all these clearances. Second, you know, I, I mean, I can list out one, just, so many. No, no, just give me one more. I mean, just give me one of, more. Uh, permissions which were required and where files. Give me a third one and then I'll go yeah. to someone else. Th this is a third. Then fourth, Ministry of Industry. I, third, MSME. Fourth, Ministry of Industries. So the entire plethora of these, uh, you know, permissions from the minister have been reduced. Okay. And, you know, we are debating the cabinet expansion today. I am willing to take this uh, on any day okay. with anybody whether we have reduced the role of government or not. It's a good point you're making. Let me go to Abhishek Singhvi. Mr. Singhvi, you've heard three examples of illustrations of how, in fact, that phrase minimum government should be interpreted. And therefore, the argument is the fact that Mr. Modi's ended up with a government of the same size as Mr. Manmohan Singh had in 2009 doesn't mean that this Prime Minister has gone back on that catchy phrase of minimum government. And the three examples are A, the role of government in environmental clearance is reduced and reduced sharply for which Javdekar has been promoted. Secondly, the role of economic reforms has removed the role of discretion in com commerce and commerce ministry transactions. And similarly, in the case of industry where presumably, although Mr. Mittal didn't say it, FDI now happens more by the automatic route than the discretion route and that means once again the role of government is reduced. Very quickly, do you accept that despite my claim that in terms of numbers the government has gone up, Mr. Mittal's given a good case for arguing that in terms of clearances and procedures government has minimized. Can I beg to differ with what observations have been made about this till now? And you'll give me sufficient time to explain why I say this. First, the consideration of the elections which are coming. Out of the 19, there are only four. Three from Uttar Pradesh, one from uh, Uttaranchal, who have elections in next one year. Only four out of 19. Gujarat so also has elections in December 2017. Secondly, and three intakes from Gujarat. Lack of experience. Sir, that is one and a half years. Sir, one and a half years. It's still next year. Sir, Sir, it's still sir, next year. It's still and that next also year. only makes it seven. Even if you consider, sir, even if you consider, sir, if you, even if you consider, even if you consider that it is only seven out of nineteen. So if it is seven out of nineteen, can that be the reason? No. Secondly, you are all so, saying there is no experience and there is no talent. Now let me read out some of the names, which are not only experienced but enormously talented and also regionally important. Are you going to say that SS Aluwalia, who has been in parliament for more than 25 years, headed uh, JPCs and headed innumerable committees, is not talented? Ramesh Chandapa from uh, Karnataka, who was the home minister, who has been a four-time MP, two-time MLA, he is not experienced or not talented. Vijay Goel has been a part of the prime minister's office, a regional satra, Delhi he holds today. Three times Lok Sabha, one time Rajya Sabha. Minister for five years, and yet he does not have experience. He is not uh, okay. heavyweight enough. Rajan Gohain, a towering personality of Assam, a homia, a four-time Lok Sabha member, he is not. Mr. Okay. Arjun I, I, Ram, I, 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 uh, think, Medwa, I think you made your point, Mr. Mr. Mittal. Mr. Mittal, we don't districts. have to go through the biography you, of every new person. You have made your point. Let me get in Pavan Varma and see whether he is convinced. Sir. I don't think he needs an introduction. Well, let's see where the problem was. Karanji, this is unfair. Karanji, this is unfair. Her legacy and the Karanji, this is unfair. This is absolutely oh, unfair. Mr. 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 Mittal, I'll come to you. Those, I'll come to you, but let him express his opinion. Have you finished? Pavan, go ahead. And all those who have embarrassed the government and have also been non-performers. 
लाइक फॉर इंस्टेंस वी के सिंह महेश शर्मा संजीव बालियान साध्वी निरंजन ज्योति व्हाट इज देयर कॉन्ट्रीब्यूशन सो लेट अस नॉट टेक इट ऑन अ मैकेनिकल रीडिंग ऑफ एक्सपर्टीज एंड and and administrative or otherwise you know what is the role of ministers in this government when the prime minister deals directly with bureaucrats okay you've made Overarching your point arching ministers let it's me, a let concentration me. of power which is unprecedented you know the point that's being made there is the ms respond to it I, i'll get you to respond mr mithil but let me bring mr mr mithil i'll get you to respond but let me bring others no, no. in this mustn't become no no you can't you can't do this You can't have a five is to one and then say. I don't have the five is to one, Mr. Mr. Mittal. Mr. Mittal, Siddharth Bhatia and Nalini Singh are all are independent journalists. I'll come back to you. Anyway, I'm giving you more chance than the others. I'll come back to you. No, but sir. They may be independent, but I am being attacked. I am being attacked, and I have a right because what I just heard is not only obnoxious; it is nauseating. All right. Let Mr. Pawan Verma so, become the Prime Minister of this country and then pass these value judgments. Can I? I can't let them go. Let him reply after me. Let him, uh, let him reply these. together. You can't have this kind of a debate on this level. Let him. Go ahead, Mr. Minister. Make your point. Go ahead. Pathetic use of. of go ahead, no, Mr. Pawan Verma. Let Mr. Mittal speak. Go ahead, Mr. Mittal. Make Mr. your point. Mr. Pawan Verma's observation. Mr. Mr. Pawan Verma's observations. sadden me that as somebody who should know what are the limits of observation in terms of uh, what what is the competence of ministers i think he's crossed all limits mr pawan verma the day you become the prime minister of this country kindly make these observations otherwise you have no right and no business sushma swaraj whether she is in marginalized or not you are not the spokesman yeah, and you do not know the facts so please do not speak lies and do not speak but i know the facts on television as far as who should be promoted or who should not be promoted i think it's the prerogative of the prime minister and not mr pawan verma but forgive me right mr mittal it mandate. is also the but prerogative of the prime minister to question how the prime minister exercises his prerogative the prime minister has a right to choose his ministers but the press sir, has a right sir, to comment sir, to criticize nothing of the public debate not the judge Right. Of, he is not the judge of the competence of a minister for I, being promoted I, I, or not promoted. Karan, and if but I have the right to comment. Karan, 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 making the prime minister. All right, gentlemen, Karan, I need to bring Karan. in my other guests. Let me come to you, Mr. Singhvi. You have Mr. no Singhvi. right to say who should be promoted. That's it. Mr. Mittal. Now, of the government. in fairness, you must allow other guests to speak. I do. I do. Before I respond to this, because there is an analogy, I just heard uh, Mr. Uh, Singh we talking about the absolute concentration in the hands of the prime minister it's a one man government mr singh we you should be very happy if it's a one man government because then it is the uh, least government maximum governance and least government because according to you rest are all irrelevant only one man works so that should you should it should make you happy and prime minister is then leave, living up to his uh, promise na now What come are you to complaining now about come there? to my question the fact is come to my you question have a party mr mr you have a government <laughs> Uh, yeah uh, yeah i am coming to your point now you so you have a we have a party and you we have a gov uh, government there is there is absolute interaction between the two to formulate how we should go forward normally people accuse that look when the government is there the party is neglected here is a case where the government and the party are in unison and both are doing things together to ensure that bjp okay. goes on a victorious path I think that's the message out of this, which we should be welcoming. As Let's far as as far as the third, this thing that someone's influence has been reduced, and you said there's no evidence. Well, there's no evidence to that effect. Why make a comment on it also? All right, that's a I fair mean, way. That's a story, fair story, way of story, turning story, my story, question on its head. It But let me bring in an the independent is, person like Nalini Singh, who's sitting with me. Do you? First two things: concentration on of power and dictatorship, and all this. if a rahul gandhi tearing off the agenda of the cabinet or the decision of the cabinet and the prime minister meekly accepting it is what is acceptable to mr uh, singh and mr verma as democratic or as glorious institutional uh, illustration of the prime minister's authority then i rather have a dictator than to have this kind of a lame duck prime minister a man who has been chosen by this nation has been given a mandate and an authority and a job and if he is doing that with all his might and all his uh, 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 competence 
grudging it by the opponent itself is an indication of the righteousness of what he is doing. Okay. Because the, the, the opposition comes not on the merit of what is being done, but out of the frustration of the success of the Prime Minister. All right, That's Mr. one Mr. side of the story. I'm going to have to... The second side of the wait, story... Wait, Mr. Mittal, you've only got 20 seconds now because I'm running over. I want you to have the last word, but keep it a short word, sir. The, yeah, the, the elevation of Amit Shah is what you all talked about. I mean, here is a perfect example of harmony between the party and the government. Look, it's a party which is voted in power. All right. And the government represents what the party aspirations are. All right, Mr. Mitchell. So this... So this what? ...critical about it. That shows how, how, how perver perverseness has crept in into our minds all being right. critical about everything and anything which has been done by any government. That will I have to be the last word, Mr. Mittal. Uh, I will have to end there. We're running over. I wanted you to have the last word because you felt, I have to add wrongly, that it was five against one. So you were forgetting that Siddharth Bharti and Narani Singh are not party political. They're independent journalists. And obviously, we have to have two opposition people there. So it wasn't five against one. But nonetheless, I want you to have the last word because I don't want you to be aggrieved. My thanks to all my guests for joining me and if you have been, thanks for watching. Keep watching this channel. Hopefully shortly the portfolios will be announced.